Well, good evening, everyone. We saw temperatures today reach into the upper 30s, so it was slightly above normal, but it probably didn't feel like that because we were dealing with windy conditions and we still have some wind out there. But at the moment, we're dry. When we take a look at the Mercy of SkyTrack weather camera, see traffic traveling right there on the roadway. No wet weather expected for us for the next couple of days. That changes, though, as we head toward the weekend. Now, when we take a look at the day planner, we are expecting a mainly clear sky as we head throughout the rest of the evening and into the overnight. Night, but you'll notice temperatures by the time we get to midnight will be down toward the low 20s and it gets even colder from there. And that brings us to temperatures looking forward because we are talking about cold conditions tonight, but it will be a cold day tomorrow. Temperatures only near 32 degrees for a high, but eventually by Friday we actually warm up and we'll see temperatures in the low 50s, well above normal for this time of year. But as we focus in on temperatures out there now, we're anywhere from the upper 20s toward the low 30s, 33 degrees in Rockford, 32 degrees in Rochelle, and also 32 degrees in Savannah. Now the wind has been a little bit of an issue today. We've seen wind, uh, we see wind at the moment anywhere from 11 to about 20 to 21 miles per hour, and we have seen even higher wind gusts. And so the reason why we're dealing with the breezy conditions, we have high pressure that's generally to our south. We have an area of low pressure passing to our north along with the cold front that will sweep across our region tonight, and that is what has more or less made it windy for us today, but once we get behind that cold front, we're talking about some colder air moving in our direction. And when we take a look at regional temperatures, we see temperatures toward La Crosse, 24 degrees, Minneapolis, 17 degrees. These are the temperatures we are expecting as we head throughout the overnight. So let's take a look. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the teens for all of us and we'll likely have wind chills in the single digits. And by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon, we'll see temperatures struggling to reach the upper 20s and the lower 30s. And that brings us to our upper level pattern. The reason why we're cooling off again, we have that cold from passing through, but we have upper level winds uh, more or less allowing for colder air to dip right across the Great Lakes. But we see a ridge to the west. Eventually, this ridge builds east. It'll be a weaker ridge, but it will help bring some warmer conditions to our region. And so that's why we are talking about warming up as we head toward the end of the week into Christmas Eve and even Christmas Day. But at the same time, we'll start to see more storm activity across our region. As we look to our Thursday morning, there'll likely be a disturbance to our north. That should not impact us here in the state line, but keep that in mind if you are traveling north for the holiday. Then as we look to our Friday, we'll see a limited rain chance throughout the afternoon. But I think most actually deal with clouds, and that's about it. But now it looks like Christmas Day we'll be dealing with rain showers across our region, so be on the lookout for that. And as we talk about the Christmas forecast, we are looking at temperatures, generally speaking, in the low 50s Christmas Eve, upper 30s Christmas Eve night, and mid 40s Christmas Day. Tonight we're down to 16 degrees with a mainly clear sky, and the seven-day shows were dry up until Friday and Saturday with wet weather moving in, and then we're cooling off into the weekend.